Okay, I'm done. Go. No matter what seasonings you're going to use, always one teaspoon per one pound of meat. Yeah. And we are making milanesa. You want to talk about milanesa a little bit? Mm -hmm. Well, what is milanesa for the people that, you know, there's obviously people that don't know what that means, right? English people. It's just breaded steak. Breaded steak. It's so ugly. Well, that's what it looks like, though. And what about these ingredients that you have over here? What do you use? What's in that small little cup, by the way? What? You see those jars? But what? But what's in it, though? We're doing a video. I don't want to do a video. <laughs> Where's my knife, Jimmy? You know when I say my knife, you know what I mean, right? Well, what are you doing with that? Oh, this is the beginning stages. I forgot because we're seasoning a whole nother batch. So this is actually the first step. Obviously, separating the milanesa and cutting them up into pieces because they're about to be seasoned. So this is going to be helpful for many, many people. All right, this is how you start seasoning it. You don't want it to get too wet? No, no. Should you pat dry it? No. No? So you don't want to get it wet, but you don't pat dry it either. Well, that's a good way of seasoning, though. So this is like round two? You season them all that same way, now you're going back through the process again, huh? I was wondering why they were so thick. This is the most important part, the seasoning part. Now just rub everything together now. Adding some vinegar here. All right, after everything is all seasoned, this is the next step. Crack a couple of eggs. Some other ingredients you're gonna need for this step is panko and flour. So we also added a little bit more water to this as we were beating it. Water. How much water would you say that you added to that so far as you were beating it? If you do one egg, you should use about a quarter cup of water. Well, we use two eggs. Right. So a cup, maybe I added. A little under a cup. All right, so here's the next step. As you can see, that's what we use. All right, so now we got this off to the side. How much panko would you say is in that plate? Enough to cover the plate. Okay, so that's a good way of judging it. We got the eggs here. So what are you doing with the flour right now? You're just trying to... Get out the lumps. And look at Cookie, the wonderful Cookie. Say hi, Cookie. Put this 
It's okay. So now, as you can see, what we did was, well, you can explain it better, right? Dump it in the flour, put it in the egg, put it in the panko. This is going to be a very crucial part right here. We don't do a lot of commentary, but that's okay. Just watch. Just watch and learn. My grandma tired. She don't want to talk to y'all right now. Right, Nana? Right. I don't have <laughs> enough breath to cook and talk. But we still do it for the people. So y'all can learn. I need more panko in that plate. Come on, more panko? Work. So as you can see, you kind of get the picture of what's going on right here. Uh, I put some more panko in the plate because we were running out. And then, uh, you know, depending on, you know, we're obviously going to use that silver pan right there. So just depending on how big your pan is and how much you're going to cook, just keep doing this till you're ready to cook. All right, so you saw how we were seasoning up everything. So now, what are the instructions for cooking it once everything is seasoned and everything? Heat up the oil when the oil is nice and hot. Put it in the, um, in the oil under medium flame. For one minute. Turn it over. One minute. You're done. Got it, Cookie? Say bye, Cookie. Bye, everybody, Cookie. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be... Maybe I'll attach a picture to the end of this video. I think I could do that to show you how everything came out. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your Milanesa.